Hello everyone, this is Scott from DailySession.com and today I want to be showing you some of the things that you should be doing right after you installed Windows 10. I installed Windows 10 last night on my computer and I'm going to be showing you some of the things that you need to do to clean it up and help improve it after you've installed it. So the key thing is if you've left all of your Windows drivers and programs on the computer then you're in the good spot. In fact that's what most people would have done so I'm going to follow up from that uh, viewpoint. The things that were not kept were driver, your Windows drivers uh, were removed. Um, you'll need to install things like NVIDIA. For the vast majority of them, they should still be intact and your computer should still function. Just things like your display drivers and your audio drivers will need to be reinstalled. If you're using something like a headset, like a Corsair headset, the main thing you'll need to do is uninstall your previous audio drivers that you got from your manufacturer and reinstall them, or else you may have issues with the sound playing. I have this issue for a while until I just uninstalled it and reinstalled them. You'll also want to do a clean install when you do a uh, NVIDIA installation. So if you use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, when you're installing your program, make sure you uh, do the clean install, which is the little check mark underneath all the driver version information. That is definitely the best thing to do for your computer. It will delete all profiles and you may want to, if you really don't want to delete all your profiles and stuff, then by all means you can keep them. But I always do a fresh install of NVIDIA whenever I update my computer. The other thing is you're going to make sure that you have an anti, if your antivirus program is installed, like I have 360 Total Security, you're going to want to use Windows Defender. You're going to want to go to Windows Defender and it should be deactivated. You'll have to go into your settings. You'll go into Windows Defender and then when you click on the settings, it'll open up a window and make sure that you've deactivated Windows Defender entirely. It's not as simple as the one click button that we're used to because it's in a different menu. Another thing that you'll want to do is if you're using a program like 360 Total Security, you'll want to run a cleanup. And by this, I mean it's going to run and it's going to find Windows files. There will be several gigs of useless Windows files from your update. When I ran it, I got about 26 gigs of Windows updates leftover files. I cleaned them up and it's lightened the load on my system. Um, you'll also want to run like a speed up to make sure that your tasks and everything that were previously disabled stay disabled. Uh, I always like going into the manual mode as well to make sure nothing that I don't want starting is starting. I leave, you could disable things like OneDrive from here. I mean, typically you just want to leave it enabled. But some people like to disable it. Finding things like TeamViewer and other little programs that you have installed, make sure you remove them all accordingly. Like... Let's see if I could find a good example. TeamViewer. I don't need it starting. 